Ikoko special advisor to Governor Babajide Sanwolu, Lagos State on drainage and water resources, has replied critics who have been reacting to President Muhammadu Buhari's cancelled media trip to the United Kingdom last week. Recall that the president had aborted his scheduled medical trip to the United Kingdom and there was no official reasons for this from the presidency. While there were insinuations by Nigerians that the president might have cancelled the f trip for the fear of hashtag Aras Buhari out of London protesters, the Senate senior assistant to the president on media and publicity declined comments on why it was cancelled. But reacting via his ve verified Facebook, Ms. Saibokwe said in one of his posts that it is all over for Namde Kano. Why, in another post, he told critics, you cannot understand why PMB postponed his UK visit last week. His comments are not unconnected with the extradition of leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Namde Kano, who was arrested on Sunday, but made to appear at the um, Federal High Court in Abuja. The High Pop leader is to continue his 10 count charge which he had previously been charged with before he absconded relating what happened in courts uh the lawyer to the government to the courts that the man Kanu had been at large earlier in 2017 but since then he jumps bail and flouted the bail conditions he now applied that Kanu be remanded in custody of dss and his trial be accepted so that the case can be concluded on time. The case was initially adjourned to October 20th, but by its application, the court brought the trial back to July 26th and ordered that he should be remanded in custody of the DSS and asked the prosecuting lawyer to inform the defendant so that they can attend court at the next day. And then, after proceedings, Colonel sought for the permission of the court to talk and said he has been absent in court because his house was invaded by some people who killed some people he said didn't want to be killed and that was why he went underground that was why he wasn't able to attend the court it wasn't that he deliberately absent himself from court so the court told him to liaise with his lawyer so that he can prepare for subsequent proceedings asked to describe how the hyper leader looked like in court today the journalist said he looked okay he was clean shaven he was dressed in black suit jacket and his gray beard was visible okay well who is kano if i may simply ask for a uh, joe Ibokwe, the man is a freedom fighter and not a terrorist judas must always be amongst the people don't say your brother because of the position you and your family enjoying today tomorrow you may be you may not be there of course definitely those who were there before they are not there today a typical the typical example is obasanjo and gulag jonathan they are not there today again they are not there today well it is a proverb let there be equal rights and justice in our system today even the unborn baby in the womb we praise the government hmm. bless you bro uh slave igbokwe now concentrate on your gutter clean job check where maybe your father works under this man tell that slave that namde kanu was not arrested but it's a strategy we know the fear hope the arrest of namde kanu will bring down inflation and the price of fuel joe ahusakwe i can swear that it is not over and will never be over until biafra is restored okay you are a you are an unserious person. Let me just put it that way. Joe Igbokwe, what are you talking about? God, posterity will judge you. Zoo cannot do anything. It will happen before our eyes. Mazi, nothing will happen to you. Can someone please tell this gutter man to keep quiet? Joe, don't celebrate too much. Remember, you were once a Biafra agitator. Really? His eyes are open. Now, and the truth is bitter. It is a pity Kano looks like a Kunu. Hmm. Let me warn you and your master. If anything happens to Namde Kano, Nigeria will become a dust. Are you God? Those are prepared to be killed by Abacha. Abacha himself died and they are alive to today. OBJ is one of them. Never say die. God is watching all the evil works of our leaders. 
You talk too much, Igbo Kwe. Not sure if he's a real Igbo man. Let him prove it by showing people the grandfathers. Obi, let's be sure when people are talking. At least men like all days the cabinet not that knows that they know that nothing will happen to Nabdi Kano because if it happened so all of them both in drum of in, of swept both of them offspring we pay for that you have always been a compound for, instead of arresting the plaguing problems drowning nigeria you went and arrest namde kano have you solved the nigeria problem i think uh, namde kano is not the problem of nigeria now they are using all their power oh let's see what we begin to unfold as we you know as things progress Joe Bokwe looks like a mental deranged animal dancing foolishly just to please pay masters. Let him continue. <laughs> uh, the writer, you said he jumps B. You are sick with prejudice. Of course, that is what they are going to be saying. Now, you know, they always orchestrate this thing. And a lot of people will be falling for that. A lot of people are falling for that, will be falling for that, and will continue to fall for that. What do you think? What do you expect? What do you expect them to say? That is the rhetoric. The rhetoric now is that, uh, oh, he has been the one who has been the problem of this country, left, right, and center, from north to south, from south to the east, and to the south, south. They believe that is the one that is the problem. Now that uh, Ohaneze themselves are even rejoicing, they are happy because they are looking for Igbo presidency. They think by coming out to, you know, you are not even condemning what is happening, but the only thing is to jump on your people. Every blame, you have to blame your people. Every problem, you have to blame it on your people. You have to blame it on your people. Who does that? Who does that? We shall all see. We shall all see. One thing is that all these people, they don't even care whether they are going to be asked to be to be slaves or whatever. In as much they feel that they are eating from the uh, crumbs that is falling from the table, they don't care. They don't even bother. They are so happy about it. So if you feel that you want to be freedom fighters, whatever you see, you carry. That is their own mindset. But instead of them to put themselves in a rigorous uh, situation, they don't want to do that. That is to tell you that they are not for the people. They are not for the people. They are just there for themselves. And we cannot see the reason why they are jumping from PDP to APC. Now, those who have come to the APC now, they will not talk about them again. It's only this man that has even said meaningful things. Uh, Professor Issei Sagi saying that they are all unprincipled people. So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion and let's have your take on this matter.